Hey guys, Mark here, Celtic Crossbows. I'm here for the final instalment of your uh, awaited final of assembling your Adarini pistol crossbow. Been away for a little bit. Um, I've been waiting for grub screws and nuts to arrive. And it's been a, a bit of a nightmare. Okay, so I'll give a recap on up to where we are. Your pistol crossbow should be fully assembled and working as it would. The next step, as I said, was to take these front four screws out to drop out the lever there as you can put your riser block inside. So I'm going to cut to a close-up now as you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so now we know we fit the nut now inside and bring it a little bit closer to the camera. As it comes around, you will see in the recess where the nut is now fitted in the front, there she is. Just line her up and pinch her in with your mould grips. That's all you need to do with that one. And then go ahead fit it back into your crossbow. Okay, so we're not ready now to put it back in. If you notice with your crossbow, it's slightly canted at the front to give it an angle for the string. And your mount will be the same as a cant to it. So that's the way you got to go with the nut to the, fr the front end of your crossbow. I'm gonna press pause bear now and fit the block. Right, you then. Right, okay. So now you've got your riser back in place. Your nut is fitted inside. The next part you will need is your rubber pressure pad, your metal pressure pad, bowstring wax, and your stringer. Okay, make sure you have a 55 pound limb. This is an 80 pound limb. If we try to put it in, won't fit. So if you might have fit in your 55 pound limb, which I'll do now off camera because I need both hands. Okay, now what you should have is something looking like this. In the back should be your rubber pad. In the front, your metal pad. Because when you put the Allen bolt in, you don't want it driving through the fiberglass limb. When you look down inside here now, you will see the Allen grub screw inside, which is now pushing the pressure pad onto the limb. Word of warning, don't go wrenching up on it like you're tightening the Mersey bridge. Um, this is only um, plastic, and all the purpose of the bolt is, is to stabilize the bowl limb when there's no pressure on it, to keep it central. So don't go wrench it, just pinch her up, and that's all you need, okay? Next step now, refit in the cocking lever, and we'll look at then the string in the bowl. Um, just one quick tip, when you're fitting your bowl limb, don't put the caps on, it won't go through with the caps on, okay? So, next step now, refit in the front pivot, and then we, then we'll string okay. it guys. So we're on to the next bit now, fitting your bowling tips. There's several designs out there to fit the alleged 80 pound, really 55 pound tips. These ones here with a step, they will not fit. They're too big. They slide on and they won't lock in. They not, with the tension of this, with the bowstring they look old, but they won't actually grip the limb tip properly. These ones I recommend is the, is the cheap, standard, nasty ones if you like, or these ones, we've got a delicate little ridge in the front, which you can face rearwards, so when the string comes round, it pulls it a little bit proud of your limb. Okay, so I'm gonna slip my uh, tips on now, and the next step you see now, so you'll be off camera, is that string in it. And I'll show you how I do it. An important tip before you fit your string, make sure you put at least three or four twists in it, because we see where it's all braided up here. You want at least three twists in it to t take up the slack. And then thoroughly grease your string before you fit it, because once it's in, these are awkward to grease, all ones with the magazines are. 
I'm using um, Textite um, Bonding um, to, to leave with the, the string. Get my tip up. Yeah. And then uh, I'll put the string on and we see how she goes. It's okay, so I'm back. Um, both string is now fitted. I'm working nice. I've picked up the magazine. Okay, and she's locked it in and holding. Now, there's one thing I discovered while I was doing this. As you probably noticed, the bow string is now all black. When I started off, it was green. If I offer it up so you can see on camera, I'll try. Fasten the notch there. Look there. The string is about an inch and a half short, which means when I put the, 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 the string on the limb tips, it was pulling the bow back a good inch. So where you see here, they got about uh, two and a half centimeters clearance of the bump stops. The string's actually about big here, pulling the limbs back with my finger is there, just past that screw line. Extra tension on the limb, extra tension on your string, extra tension on every part. Um, what I found was, as well, but when I cocked it and fired it for cycle, uh, cycle it for firing, it reduces your cocking stroke. Now, anybody you know anything about crossbows, um, you need a longer stroke as possible to get your acceleration. So although it was pulling the bow back and opening more stress on the bow, so there's more tension, it would probably fire quicker when you reach the trigger. Um, you wouldn't give deliver the full stroke, therefore the poundage would actually be lower. So it would be um, take up the slack, which we, you would normally do, would be gone. Um, and uh, your limb would be under tension all the time, which will lead to premature failure if you're using too light a bolt as well. Right, so I loop my string using um, Bonin Textite um, uh, Wax Lube and the rail, I used uh, Bonin Rail Lube. It's like a, a lubricant oil. But um, we're going to go over now. We're going to um, put a couple of bolts in and see how she goes. Right, so let's um, check it. Fine. Okay, we're going to load up your uh, Adderini now. Release the magazine. We're going to go in first with two of my carbon fibre lightweights. In you go. Lightweight, lightweight, lightweight. Two of my carbon fibre heavyweights. And two of my cam fiber broad heads. Do, 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 do. Get a little tighten. There she goes so. Here's the magazine suit and booted. Over to the firing position. Guys, okay, so I'm at my international firing position. Um, standard uh, Temida Jog Sprav Adarini range. Fitted my um, hollow sight. Beak off my uh, Adarini sling bow because um, I'm going to open the sight at all on this one. So I uh, had to fit something. So it's not zeroed in. So I can see through there I'm using a uh, green red glue. So it's not zeroed in for this pistol. So we see now how she goes. First shot, first for everyone. This is definitely uh, harder to cock than the sling bow pistol, I will say that now. Okay, I did. None of the bodkin tips stuck in. They left a, a big dent and bone straight back out. The, the broad heads, however, um, they done exactly what I expected them as well. They stuck in lovely. 
So consider I the the sights weren't sighted in. I just bolt, just screwed them on. Didn't even tighten them with the Allen key. Just done finger tight. Um, you can see the penetration there, and that's that's well in. Come on. He's not coming up in a rush. There we are. Ready to go. So I get the other one out. Same again, same again as well. Ready to rock and roll. So, in conclusion. A lot of people say the 55 pound Adderini Slingbow is stronger than the Adderini Crossbow. I would disagree. Um, at least with the setup I got, with the string I got, uh, with the bowling I got. Um, it is more effort to cock it than with the um, Theraband, Theraband Silver. Um, and it feels slightly heavier on, it, heavier on the trigger, but we're not going to go that yet. We're going to do our next video as we do a head to head on the two. Okay, guys? So I'm glad you come across, come with me on this ride. Um, so from start to finish, we've made our Adderini um, pistol crossbow. She's working, she's tested. Um, now onto the head to head. Thanks and bye bye.